let's talk about that Georgia voting law. Here's what's in the law that was signed by Governor Kemp yesterday. Uh, for mail-in absentee voting, you will now need an ID number, which could be a driver's license or state ID. That replaces signature checking. The law limits the use of ballot drop boxes, including the number of drop boxes in each county. It's now a misdemeanor to hand out food and beverages in voting lines, and some of those lines can be long, we remind you. Despite some of these restrictions, it actually expands in person, early in person voting for primary and general elections. Uh, so let's go now to CBS News uh, election law expert David Beckner for more on this. Uh, David, you've been following these election laws. What's your take on this one? Uh, good morning, Tony. It, it's um, it's important to note first that all of these efforts in the states like Georgia are based on the big lie, based on the lie that the election lacked integrity when, in fact, this was the most secure and transparent election we've ever had. And the rush to pass these laws does raise concerns. President Biden was absolutely right yesterday when he called the effort anti-American. But this particular law, as it ended up, was kind of a mixed bag. As you pointed out, there are some things in there that are bad, and there are some things in there that are not so bad. So, for instance, there are limits on the ability of third parties to give people who are waiting in line food and water. There are limits on uh, drop box locations and drop box availability to drop a mail ballot off. Uh, the um, driver's license number requirement on a mail ballot is actually probably, it could be a net good. It's sim very similar to what they do in Minnesota, and it means they don't have to check signatures anymore, which could mean that fewer ballots get rejected, particularly because Georgia has a very good automated, uh, automatic mo voter registration system. It, it, and it also... Um, yeah, go ahead. Well, I was going to say, uh, David, in, in the weeks leading up to the passage and signing by Governor Kemp, there were major concerns about some more restrictive aspects of the law that did not make it in. W what are those? Yeah, there were at least three big things that didn't make it into the law that I think it's great that they weren't in the law. One was a rollback of that automatic voter registration system, which leads Georgia to have some of the most accurate voter lists in the country. Uh, there was also a significant rollback proposed about mail voting. That is not in the law. There's still ample opportunity for mail ballot options in Georgia. And finally, there were some really, uh, really difficult to understand limitations around early voting, specifically around weekend day, Sunday day days when African-American churches push voters out to go souls to the polls. That is not in the bill. Currently, actually, even early voting is expanded in the current bill with two Saturdays and counties have the option to provide for Sundays as well. And, and David, as a matter of fact, this is a solution in search of a problem. There is not widespread fraud in this country or in the state of Georgia, and yet we have 43 states pursuing similar restrictions on voting. What does this, this passage in Georgia mean for those other efforts? Well, I think we're going to be keeping an eye on some laws in other states, particularly states like Arizona and Texas and even Florida, where um, mostly Republicans actually are passing laws trying to restrict voting, trying to roll back things that have been in place for decades that voters like and that actually lead to integrity. Their early voting, mail voting, it helps election integrity. It gives you an early warning system if there's a problem. And so states should be really looking for ways to expand the franchise and let people vote conveniently over a great number of of days, and it's unfortunate to see states trying to roll back those measures in this kind of rushed environment based on an entire lie. Yeah, I think turnout would be something that all Americans could root for. David Becker, thank you very much.